Hello everyone, it's Charlton, and it's been uh, reported that the hostage situation that has ended with all three uh, females um, uh, killed and the, and the gunman uh, having killed himself. And this was just reported on Fox moments ago. Um, in fact, it's not even updated on the website, but uh, the Sheriff Robertson, I think is his name, of Napa County, Gave a press conference not long ago. Um, I believe they finally entered the um, the room where they were holed up inside the pathway, one of the buildings of the pathway house on the Yauntville Veterans Home in Napa County um, around 9, 9 p.m., something like that, uh, 6, 6.30 p.m. California time, 9 p.m. East Coast time, and they found three females uh, killed, and the, the gunman uh, was was dead as well, so four dead. With, uh, you know, and um, it sounds as though that um, this may have happened some time ago, and the fact that they've been trying to reach him by his cell phone and through landlines all this time and not getting through to anybody, um, it, it sounds that they believe possibly this, 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 this shooting uh, took place, you know, hours ago, and they just don't know. And already people are asking questions of why did it take, you know, nine hours or, um, you know, eight, uh, eight and a half hours. This began at 10.30 a.m. California time all the way up to 6, 6.30 p.m. So, um, you know, uh, eight, eight hours to, to finally enter the, the, uh, the room where they were holed up. So it says here, according to, uh, I think it's a state senator, uh, Bill Dodd, the, the gunman took hostages, uh, a clinical worker, a psychiatrist, and and uh, an executive director. You know, in one of the reports I made in my previous video, I read that the uh, the executive director was um, uh, Lober, Catherine Lober, and uh, uh, she's a, they have a Facebook page, a website. Um, you know, that uh, is, is readily available. You can go see. I'm just not really ready to, uh, I'm not absolutely certain. Um, that's what was reported before. So I believe this is the husband of, uh, of one of the people, persons that worked for the same company who managed to escape and get out of there. Um, and I think he's describing what his wife tells him over the phone. His name is, I think, Larry Kramer. And uh, Larry Kramer told the Associated Press that his wife, Deborah Smith, a fundraiser for the Pathway Home, had been attending a going-away party at, the, at the, uh, the program when a gunman had entered the room, letting some of the people leave while taking others hostage. He has, uh, reportedly specifically chose three people that he had some kind of a grudge with. That's what one reporter was saying, and I'll play that report as well. But here is, I believe this is Larry Kramer right here. Let me play this first. Friday morning staff meeting, and it was a going away party for uh, a couple of the women who were, whose last day it was today. And uh, in the midst of this, this man walked in with a gun, a rifle. Um, she was able, with three of her colleagues, to, to leave. I don't know whether he told them to leave or asked them to leave, or if they asked to leave. All I know is they got out. Um, she's still up in an adjacent building, apparently out of harm's way, um, uh, but has been, you know, sheltered in place, and I guess it's surrounded by, you know, security. Uh, but there's three of her colleagues who are still in with the uh, with the gun. And you said your wife actually saw this person. Does your wife know who this person? Is I know you don't want to say the name, but does your wife know this person? Yeah, all I can say is it's a. I don't know what her relationship with him is. All I know is it's a really, you know, it, it's a very tight knit community you know these are people who are all there to help each other uh help vets kind of get back into society after after their deployments and um so what her relationship with him is i don't i don't really know and thankfully your wife is safe right now but how, how yeah. is she i mean being eye to eye with that person how is she right now freaked out i mean she's pretty freaked out uh, my wife's a pretty tough woman um I've talked to her a lot today, and, uh, you know, she, like all the other people in that building, are eager to, to get out. Um, they're eager to see that their colleagues are safe. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, it was a pretty, pretty uh, terrible situation. 
and um, the report by the reporter announcing that. Information for us. Stop. Well, uh, I'm very sorry to tell you this, that uh, Fox News is reporting uh, KTVU has not yet been able to independently uh, confirm this, but uh, the information seems to be good that the hostage uh, situation uh, has resolved itself in the worst possible way, that the gunmen and apparently the hostages have uh, all died. Um, that rapid gunfire must have been what when it happened early today um, when they were up in the uh, Madison uh, building. And apparently they kept trying to reach this person all day long, unable to do so. And then a few hours ago, some of the um, some of the really heavy duty uh, armament and equipment that they had started pulling out. And then a number of ambulances pulled out. And then three of the helicopters were here that pulled out. And uh, it made it sound like they were going to settle down for a night and wait this out until morning. But apparently, according to Fox News, what they have discovered is that the gunman and the three hostages uh, have been killed uh, in the process of this and killed, obviously, all by the uh, gunman uh, who apparently murdered them and then uh, killed himself. Uh, that is the latest information that we have. Uh, we talked to the CHP about it, and they would neither confirm nor deny, but the, the information, at least at this point, uh, appears to be uh, worth reporting. Uh, I take it on my responsibility, even though we've discussed this, uh, uh, to report this to you. I'm very sorry to do that, but that seems to be the way that this is concluded. Tom, such a sad update when, in fact, uh, officials do confirm that to us. Have you seen any indication from any vehicles going in, uh, whether that be a coroner's van, whether or not that that indicates that these people have died? Have not seen that thus far, and probably uh, they would want to deal with the scene before they would ever bring that uh, here. Uh, just the logic of it. It's been confirmed. I did see the uh, the press conference by the Napa County um, Sheriff uh, Robertson is his last name, almost certain, and. Um, the identity of the gunman has not been revealed. However, uh, Chris Slate, in, in the comments, had mentioned it was a. I know it was a 36-year-old male, but he mentioned an Asian Asian male discharged from this facility two weeks ago. Previous Marine or was in the Army, and was on a second floor on one of the buildings at this facility. I think that's also where gunfire was exchanged. I think this was fairly early on. Um, what it seems when. Uh, Possibly all three females were killed, and then the gunman killed himself. This is per initial call put out on radio around 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I think that 10.30 a.m. is actually California time. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, I, uh, I'm, I was shocked. Uh, it's just awful, you know, uh, all this time. Um, it had been going on and on, and just nobody knew. Um, so, a lot of questions about that, and I'm sure that'll all be looked into about why it took so long to enter. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's hard to second guess these things, and uh, it was um, it was uh, it seems as though it was already done anyway. So it, it's I don't know. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.